on Portsmouth National Scale Modeler. Review today, uh, it's modeling, not really modern related, but it is in a kind of roundabout way. What I'm going to do to you today, I'm going to give you a basic guide on how to use Photo Bucket, which basically allows you to host and upload pictures to the forum quickly, easily, and um, without fuss. Now, I get asked almost daily about this how to upload pictures, the threads on the forum explaining how to do it, but people still seem to struggle. And I always think the best way to be shown how to do something um, is to actually see somebody else do it. So that's what I'm going to do. So what we've got, I'm going to give you a basic guide on taking the pictures, uh, how to upload them on your phone, and then how to upload them on your machine as well. So two ways you can take the pictures with digital camera, which if you do, you've got an SD card or a leader plug-in that you have to upload them to your PC. Or you can use your phone. And use the photo bucket app, which is a really quick, simple way of doing it, and it's the way that I take the pictures myself. So, iPhone 5 is where I've got my batteries going, so hopefully, it won't die halfway through doing this. Uh, basically, as you can see there, I've got the photo bucket app and my camera side by side. So, we'll start off by taking the pictures. So, you click, get your camera on, and as you can see, I've got a picture of a kit I've got today, some brushes, and a bit of like a extra part for a kit I've got. So for me, this is gonna go on the What's the Post from Brawl thread, which is a thread showing all the things you've bought recently. It's a huge thread. God knows how much money spent on it, but there's a lot of money worth of stuff on there. So I'm gonna take a picture, a wide shot. I'm gonna take a picture of the kit itself, close up. And a picture of the extras I've bought down below. So as you can see, if I click on the pictures, we've got three pictures. We've got a wide shot, showing everything, close up of the kit, and a close up of the few bits and bobs as well. Now, photo booking and a lot of the, the photo uh, hosting sites do you like to edit, but I find them more hassle than they're worth. It's a lot easier to edit uh, on your phone. So I want to crop this picture. So as you can see, I've come into the phone, settings, edit, I'm gonna click the crop symbol, and we're just gonna, not rotate it, not like that, we don't wanna do that. Just wanna crop the picture in, both sides, like so, that'll do. Lovely, and there we go, there's a perfectly cropped picture. So once you're happy with your pictures, which all three of those look fine to me, it's time to go to the photo bucket app. Now if you don't already have the app, you need to go to your app store, or if you're on Android, I have no idea where you get it from on Android to be honest, download the app, you'll probably have to register um, with a username, a password, and an email address. If you've already got a photo bucket account on your PC, you can log in with those details, and you can access all your pictures there as well. So using photo bucket is nice and easy, click on the app, it loads up, can take a bit of time to fire up in the beginning when it's first switched on. Uh, now one of the word of warning, photo bucket can be temperamental from time to time, it's a hugely used program, so it does go down from time to time. If it won't work or it's playing, I'll come back to it 10 minutes later and see what it's doing now. Now when you fire up it takes you to your home screen, now these are previously uploaded pictures from me. That's my Ryzen Sun GB that's currently being built. So you can access all these pictures and get all the links should you need them and use them on your phone. I find it easy to use the phone to upload uh, the pictures from my phone. I then find it easy to use my MacBook to upload the pictures to the forum. But you can still use your phone to access the forum, which is great. So you need to click uh, the plus symbol at the bottom, which gives us the four options there. We're choosing the second one up, which is upload. Click that. And it should take you to your phone's uh, photo albums. This is in your phone now. It's accessing your phone's pictures. So you click photo album. You may have different uh, names for different parts of where you got stuff saved. Now we want to click the three pictures you've just taken, which are right down the bottom as you can see. So we click on each one and each one gets a little tick on it. That simple. We then click next at the top right. Now what this will do, if you just signed into the app for your first time, uh, it will give you two options, I think it is. You get your book at the top and there will be mobile book uh, uploads down below. Because this is a really old photo book of mine, there's thousands and thousands of pictures on this. I've used this for about eight years. Um, I've got lots of different folders. You can set folders up on your PC in the photo book uh, website itself. I believe you can do it on your phone, but I can't figure out it. I've never really looked, to be honest. But for the purpose of this, we'll be uploading to finished models. It's not finished models, but I set all these folders up and never use them. So I just chuck it in one, click it, it highlights it with a tick, and then you click upload at the top right. And there we go. As you can see, uploading three left, and you can see the progress bar. So there's one saved, two left. As you see, it doesn't take a long time to do. Obviously, if you're doing 40 pictures, it's going to take a bit of time to do. 
There's two. Another one left. The last one. And there we go. So they're all backed up. Now, to upload the pictures to the forum, what you need to do is you need to access the forum by your phone or your PC. If you're using a PC or your MacBook, use the Photobucket website because I find it a lot easier and I'll go and explain that in a minute. If you're using your phone, you need to go to the appropriate album that you saved those pictures in, the one you chose when you uploaded. So you go to um, Home, which is this button at the top left. Click that. You get more options. You go into Your Library, and these are all your different albums now. We changed it to Finished Models, and there's those three pictures we saved. Now to upload to the forum, you click on the picture you want to upload. There she is. Now you can edit them in here, change them whatever you want with these various buttons down the bottom. But what we want to do, we want to click that I button bottom left. And this gives us all the different links. What it will do through there. So we'll try a different one. We'll try it again. I can say there you go. Click it again and there's all the links. Different links for different things. For forum use, we want the IMG code at the bottom. So you click that and it copies it. Then out of the app into your internet browser, which for me is Safari. Find the appropriate section you want. Again, I'll explain this in a minute when we go to the PC. It's in modeling chat for me. And we want this thread here. What modeling goodies did the postman deliver? Which somebody's just posted on, funnily enough. And there's Lee's first one. We're on page 811. As you can see, there's pictures of things people have bought. So, yeah, a few kits there. As you can see, a brief description of what you've got. So what we'll do here, I'm not going to post this to the forum because I want to do it on the PC, but I'll show you how to do it. This is what I got today. So you do that, you click return. I don't know what GUI is, but we'll change that to got. There we go. Type in the text to go with your picture, then click that. It should give you the paste option. Not up there, down there we want it, thank you. Paste option, and that's the link. Now, if you click Submit, that picture will be there. So, we'll do it. Then I'll delete it. And there you go. So, this is what I got today, and a picture of what you got. So, that's how you do it. You type in what you got, the IMG link, Bob's your uncle. So, I'll just delete this now. Because I want to go and do it from the PC. So, as simple as that. Now, if you've got a camera, rather than your phone... Uh, you then need to have to take the SD card out, take it over to your PC, put it in the SD card slot, follow the instructions that you normally do to take your pictures off your, your camera or your phone, and then I'll show how you do it from the PC or MacBook. Okay, so you successfully uploaded your pictures via your phone to the Photobucket app. Uh, you're now at your computer or PC. In my case, it's a MacBook, so things are slightly different to a uh, PC. Um, this does everything I need, so I don't want to hear any Apple bashing. Um, so... Basically, go to your internet, upload, upload, sorry, go onto Google, um, you want to get the forum, and then we'll open another tab, and we'll open a photo, photo bucket as well. Now, this is exactly the same as what you're using on your phone, all your pictures you say to your phone are on here. Again, it can be a little bit temperamental from time to time, as you can see, it's a little bit slow to load the pictures up, but to get to the pictures you want to access, you go to your library, which is top left. Wait for it to load up. There you can see there's some previously uploaded pictures of mine. Down the left hand side is all these albums that I showed you on my phone. So we're in finished models and those three pictures we've just taken before should be here. And there they are. So you click on them, get the bigger picture and there you go. Now you can edit from here. There's a few edit options. Um, there you go. You can crop, rotate right, left, add effects, move, delete, print. I still think it's easier to edit from your phone if you can do it. Basic editing. But they're there if you need them anyway. And as I say, there's the picture. There's one, two, and three. So as simple as that. Um, now, as we did on the phone, we had the IMG link that we got from the I button. This is over here now. So there's the image link. That's what you need to post a picture to the forum. So you click it, copy it, or you right click and copy, depending on what machine you're on. But for me, I just click it to copy it, and there you go. So that's how we get the picture. Um, now we go to the forum, as you can see. We go down to the relevant section, and I'll go through all this in a minute. But for us, I know where it is. It's here. It's on the forum. It's in what did the postman deliver today? 
um, you find the last page you want and you go down as you can see there's somebody else's um, he's got a Leclerc T90 a Meng figure set and some airbrush cleaning brushes very nice and that's basically what we want to do so there's two ways you can do it you can have used this quick reply box down the bottom which literally you can type in and that's it upload your pictures and where you go or you click the full editor and preview button here and that will open up the full editor with all the options that probably look really scary if you've never seen them before. So for this what we want to do is um, I got these kits in the post uh, today. Um, built the half track before. That's a spelling letter down. Hope to make a better job of it this time. Because I have built it before. If you've got anything spelt wrong, spell check. Proofread it to make sure it's alright. That looks fine to me. Um, you can add any information you want, the kit, whatever you want to do. And then basically underneath, you click down, you right click your mouse or um, MacBook scroll pad. And then you're looking for the paste option. Paste it. And there's the image link. Now, we want to do that for all three. So we've done one picture. We go back to Photo Bucket. We go to the next one along. We click the image link again over here. So we just click that. We go back to the forum. We paste it again. We go back to Photo Bucket. We go to the next one. We get the image link again. And we paste it again. Simple as that. So there's three pictures there done. Um, if you want to separate them and write in amongst each picture, you can do that. Um, or like I say, just do a brief description at the top. But for me, we'll add a little bit of information here. I'm a bit slow today, the map book, I think I'm uploading something. Got some new brushes as well. And an updated chaffy turret for my uh, Bronco Chaffee. It's just basic information, nothing too in-depth, just so people what you're bored, because you're bound to be asked otherwise, and that's it. So once you're happy with your, your post, have a quick look around, see what you've got. This might look a bit daunting, but this is literally the image code for the picture. So this is what you've written. Because it's in these boxes, HTML code, it doesn't show when you click Submit, which we'll do now. And there you go. So there's the brief description of what we wrote. There's one picture, two pictures, another brief description of other things we bought, and there's a third one there. So that's how easy it is to uh, to post pictures on the forum. Now if we go back to where we were before we posted them, obviously on this screen, before you actually submit it to the forum using the submit button down here, you can preview it first. So this gives you a quick preview of what you're going to post, and then you can edit it again should you wish down here, and then click submit. And there you go, it's on the form. So that's it, that's as simple as it is on how to use Photobucket. So, like I say, you can go all around, you go back to your, your library, which will take you to your basic. As you can see, there's a lot of pictures in there of all sorts. All your different pictures, you can go right back. I can go back years and years and years, but there's old pictures of my current build as they're in progress. The pictures are just uploaded. Now, you can add albums as you see here you can create an album you click that and you click give it a different name like I don't know, cats ears so if you've got a collection of cat ears pictures you can put them in there obviously you put it in a description of what it is whether you want a public or private uh, that's a bit more in depth I'm not going to explain that one because that can be a bit confusing leave that be as it is and you create it and then that album uh, will show up over here alphabetically now if you are using a digital camera and not a phone you need to manually up manually upload from your machine so to do that you're looking for the upload button up here which is this so you go upload now this is the upload screen this is similar to what you did on the phone when you uploaded so you need to pick the album you want to upload to which we will go for the same finished models uh, you then need to use this option here choose for uh, photos and videos for me we'll go there we're in iPhoto might be a few dodgy pictures in there We'll, uh, we'll screw down a bit and see what we go. We'll go right down the bottom because I know the modeling down the bottom. All the way down to the bottom of your pictures, we'll pick that one. So if you want to do a single picture, you click on it. As you can see, the blue screen 
uh, envelops around the picture you're going to upload. So if you want to do that one, you click that and choose, and that will upload that single picture to uh, your machine. Or if you want to do a bulk, say you want all these pictures here in one go, if you click on it, hold the shift button after clicking, so click once, let go, hold the shift button, go to the last picture and click it with the mouse again, that highlights all those pictures and you can do all those pictures in one go. So because they're all highlighted, when I click choose, they will now all upload at once to Photobook it. So it's a quick way of doing multiple pictures. Now it does take a bit of time, obviously, because you're uploading you know, 12 to, to 15 pictures in one go, but there you go, that's where it's uploaded. And again, same way as before, just go through, click the picture, click the image link, take it over to form, job done. We'll come back to that in a second. Now, just showed you how to do a basic post on the forum, so that's how you post. Now, basic use of the forum, if we go back to the forum's home screen, uh, the photo upload's killing my connection a little bit now. I have a great download speed, my upload is terrible. Um, so there you go, there's the forum front page, as you can see. It can look daunting, you've never used it before. There are quite a few sections, but they're all self-explanatory. They're quite easy to use. At the top, you've got... I've got a few more things than everybody else. As you can see, I've got quarantine, moderators lounge, admin lounge, because I part own ISM with Lee. Uh, but basically, you will see from there down the forum news. These are all admin bits and bobs, etc. and cetera. So at the top, you've got um, quick links over here, which you've got your posts, new posts, unread posts, unanswered posts, or active topics. You can search the full members list, and you can see the team of ISM as well. Now, you can go through each forum separately. So if you want to go to, I don't know, I'll go and have a look at what's being built in the military vehicle section. You can click it. So this is into the armor and military vehicle section. So you can click on a build. We'll go on mics. Click on a build and you can read it all that way. And you start right at the beginning and go right through to the very end on page four. And you can do it that way. Or what I find the easiest way is rather than going through each section, every time you visit the forum, it remembers when you were on. So if you've been on and read up, caught up with everything, next time you come on, click new posts. And this is every new post that's been posted since you last visited the forum. Now, it's every section, every part of the forum, and it's a real quick, easy way of using it. So this is an active one at the minute. I just answered this one before. And that's excellent. Local Jedi's decide to use our uh, burn shuffle, which is great. So that's it, basically. That takes you every post you haven't read since you last visited the forum. Now... Another thing, using that, you've also got unread posts. Now, if you've been on the forum the night before, caught up with everything, popped on a morning for 10 minutes but didn't quite catch up and you've gone out for the day, when you come back and click new posts again, you will miss out on some posts because you didn't read them. If you click unread posts, this will show you every single unread post on the forum that you've not managed to read yet. And you can literally go right back on this. I can go right back to January. So there's some posts, you know, somebody said hello to somebody and I've missed it. That's what it is. So that's a really good, quick way of catching up with things on the forum. You've also got your posts. So you click on that and this shows you every post you've got a post in. So no matter how old it is, if you posted in it, if somebody's posted it recently, it brings it back up to the top. And again, you can keep an eye on your progress of what you posted on there. Next one along is unanswered posts. They're all the posts that nobody's actually answered. So if you feel a bit sorry, you can go through and answer the post. Or if you think you can help, answer the post active topics they're all the active topics that are on the forum obviously proven busy and then you've got the members list which you click and you search all through the names for all the different members and you can click through the team and as you can see there's the full admin and moderator team on the forum so there's me lee gav hendrick and our second mod account which me and lee keep spare now I've got a few more things. I've got an admin control panel, etc. Stuff that you won't have. But basically, over the side, you've got your forum username. You've got your private messages and your notifications. Now, notifications will show up if somebody's quoted you in a post as an answer or asked you a question. And as you can see, there's a few of mine there. So I've been quoted or it's a brand new topic. Private messages take you through to your new private messages. Um, so if anybody's contacted you on there, um, that will show up in there. And then you've got Paul. If you click that, there's a drop down bar and you've got your profile. So there's all your information about yourself, as you can see. You've then got the log out option, which logs you out of the forum, which you don't really need to do, to be honest. And then you've got your user control panel. Now, this can be quite confusing, so I'm not going to go through every step of this, but basically, 
what you've got, you've got an overview, which is basically an overview of the forum announcements, blah, blah, blah. You've got board preferences, which is, do you want to be contacted by email? Can I um, admin email you? Could you be allowed to send private messages? Your time zone, how you like your time set out, and your time date syntax as well. Uh, format, sorry. Your private messages, again, which takes you through the other way. Your user groups, friends and foes. Quite hard to explain, but if you don't like somebody, you can put them on your foes list and you don't see the posts. And what we need to see is the profile. This is what I want to show you. So this is the profile you fill in when you sign up to the forum. So information about yourself, your likes, dislikes, uh, any um, websites you want to locate on there. So you can alter this for your different... Um, Interesting, what have you for me? I've got scale modeling, bear keeping an Xbox. Don't really go on the Xbox anymore, so I'll edit that now actually. So we'll get rid of that one, put a full stop there. Once you've filled it in, click submit, and there you go, it updates it, and then back again you go. Uh, you may have noticed a few people have an avatar on the forum, which is a little picture next to the name. Click on that. There's my avatar, which you'll see on every post of mine. Uh, you can upload an avatar from your machine. So you've got a picture on your computer you want to use. You need to resize it to 140 pixels by 140 pixels. As long as it's of that size, which is roughly as big as mine is there, you can then upload to the form user as an avatar. Uh, if it's not, go to one of the image resizing websites, resize it, save it back to your machine. You can upload it that way. And then your signature. Now the signature is a small bar of text, which is added to every post you post on the forum. Uh, I've got my name, Warren Building... Uh, a link to my blog uh, and my admin uh, picture at the bottom. Um, now, mine looks a bit funky because I've got loads of well, it's HTML code in mine um, for fancy things like color, rhyme, and name, uh, bold writing, but you can just put your name, what you got on the bench, etc., and away you go. Once you've filled it in, you can preview it. So, there's mine there. So, as you can see, I've got italic writing, I've got bold with a link, hyperlink, my name's in blue, this is bold. Once you're happy with it, click submit, and away you go. So you go, like I say, basic information. If you come on the forum, come to quick links, click view new posts, and there's every new post that's been on. You can click on it, read up. As you can see, you go down. Yeah, that's great. I've read that. You know, you can reply. Click post reply at the bottom. Uh, this is a great kit. I have several in the stash. Myself, look forward to seeing you build it. So that's a basic reply to a post. Uh, again, check your spelling. If you've got spell check on your machine, it'll find it. And then at the once, you can add a little emoticon, a uh, smiley picture. Uh, for me, we'll have the cheers one. Just click it, and it puts the link in for you. Check it. Once you're happy with it, you can have a preview it. And I'll just double check how it's going to post on the forum, or you can just go straight away and submit. And there you go, there's a reply to a member on the forum. Nice and easy and simple. Uh, so, like I say, you can use the new, view new posts, which I use every single time I visit the forum, or you can go through every single section. So, if you're looking for anything on a particular aircraft, you can go through, search through. Uh, you can go through the weathering bit and look for a particular weathering um, description or a book or anything like that. Uh, you can go for everyone. Down the bottom of the forum, you've got the who's online. So this shows you everybody online in the last thing to five minutes. Yeah, there's me. Um, so you can see who's been on there. Any admins are in red. GB team leaders in yellow. And moderators are in green. If you want to see what other people are actually doing, you can do that. Now, what that does quickly is shows people's IP addresses, um, what they're actually looking at. So you can see there that me, I'm looking, viewing who is online. Easy age reading the topic and build threads. Uh, Yag Panzer is reading the topic of military chat, uh, modeler and chat, etc. etc. Anyone can look at this, you won't see all this, and yeah, I can see that, tells me what machine I'm on, etc. etc. Uh, um, back to the bottom again, you've got uh, birthdays. So, if anybody's birthdays are there, they pop up. So, congratulations if it's your birthday today. And at the bottom, you've got the statistics. So, there's 156,591 posts. Uh, 10,385 topics, 3,424 members, and our newest member is Mexicon. That's it. So that's basic, simple use of the forum. Um, there's various other various things to do as well, but they get a bit more in depth. If you ever want to have a look, if you go to site guidelines, there's a forum how to on how to explain a few of the things on the forum. So there's a quick guide on how to upload pictures using Photobook, etc., etc. 
uh, how to post a PDF and how to use uh, post YouTube videos to the forum as well. So again, nice and simple. Um, and that's it. To log into the forum, to register, I'm going to log out. You need to click register. So this is what you'll see if you're not a member, but you can't post anything. You can read it, but you can't post anything on the forum. You click register. You have to agree to these terms, so have a read of them. They're quite boring. Pick a username, so I don't know, Jeff's Hats and Cats. Uh, you probably won't be able to have a space in there. And yes, I pick random names, it's what I do. An email address, so Jeff at cat.com, wherever your email address is. Uh, and then, I don't know why I'm spelled, correcting the spell mistake, and then a password. So you put the password that you remember, um, confirm the password, choose your language, your time zone. So if you're in London, you pick Europe, London. And at the bottom, there's a thing for the bots, which is the automated spammer uh, prevention. So second and fourth letters of the alphabet, pop them in. Click submit, you should get an email um, for the email that you use to register. Click that to activate it, and then come back to the forum, sign in, and away you go. So that's it, simple. So to log in, you click that. Mine saved for me. Um, and my password is, but you put your name, the username you chose, your password, click remember me, and click log in. And Bob's your uncle. There you go, you're on the forum. So if we go back to photo book it, because I shut it because it was sapping my connection a little bit, we should see those load of pictures we uploaded all together before. They should be of my shidden. There they are there. So these are the ones we uploaded earlier on. You can see they're doubled up because I've already uploaded them. Um, but they're there. And that's it. So, nice and simple. Hopefully that's proved a bit useful. Um, like I say, I get asked almost on a daily basis how to do this. So, I think it's a worthwhile thing to have on the channel. And it could be linked to people who are struggling. But like I say, send the code to the forum. Have a look. It is a fantastic forum. It's very friendly. We have no trolls, there's no flame in your work, there's no rivet counting, nobody's going to say, oh, it looks rubbish, you should have done this. You can have constructive criticism if you ask for it. Uh, very, very friendly members, it's a very busy forum. It'll be quiet today because it's Saturday, so we're on a, a bank holiday Monday. And as you can see, because I've logged out, there's no new posts. But if we go to unread, there'll be some there. There you go. Um, it is worthwhile coming over to have a look. Uh, and that's it. So there you go. So there's a quick guide on uploading pictures, a uh, quick guide on how to use the forum. I hope that's proved useful, and um, I hope we'll see you on the forum and see your pictures very soon. So thanks a lot. I'll catch you later, guys. Take care, and I'll hopefully see you on the forum. <laughs>